So a quick video here to introduce the idea of a slack variable. We're still doing linear programming here. This time we're talking about something called a slack variable. Uh, now, just pause the video now and read the question so I don't have to read it for you. And then we'll come back and talk about it. Okay, so Lance and Julian are making badges. They're making school badges and club badges. And if they've got any spare time, they make novelty badges. So they make school badges, club badges, and spare time, novelty badges. So here's Lance. Here's Jillian. And they work in like an assembly line. So um, Lance molds the bases, does the bases. And then once he's molded the base, he passes things on. This was Lance. He passes things on to Jillian. And Jillian handles the enameling. Now, if you've ever worked in an assembly line before, uh, maybe you might have washed the dishes at home once, maybe. Um, someone's washing in the sink and someone's drying up. Now, everyone, people aren't working at the same speed, so someone has some slack time. In an assembly line, that slack, line can, that slack time can be uh, quite long. And so you can use that time to do an extra task. Okay, so, um, and that extra task could be in the kitchen, wiping down the bench or whatever that might be. But in this case, the extra task is creating these novelty badges. So the basic way of tackling this kind of question um, using the geometric approach to linear programming is to optimize things based upon their main business. So their main business is school badges and club badges find the optimized um, solution, and then see if there's any leftover time for either Lance or Jillian to make novelty badges, and that's just cream on top of the profit they're already making. So let's run, run through it. Now when I read these questions, I tend to get down to the bottom pretty quickly because I wanna know what we're trying to maximize. Um, so profit is what we're trying to maximize. Profit from a school badge is $3 and from a club badge is $1.20. And this bit here, while a novelty badge, which takes 10 minutes to make, yields a profit of $1.50. Now, we're not dealing with that in our maximization uh, because it's done in the slack time. So the only things that matter for our maximization is this. Profit is equal to $3 times the number of school badges plus $1.20 times the number of club badges. So we're only using school and club badges. There's our optimization. And obviously, there's a little bit of work down here you can see. This is just um, finding the gradient so we can use it in our geometric approach. So this is our objective function. Let's look at our constraints. Okay, so let's take a look at this. It says Lance Mould's base, badge bases and it takes him three minutes. And it's four minutes to mold a club badge. And Julian does the enameling. Uh, let's, let's go with that so far. Okay, so Lance molds badge bases. It takes him three minutes, and it takes him four minutes to mold a club badge. So our first constraint is this. Three times the number of school, three minutes times the number of school, plus four times the number of, um, for, times the number of club has to be less than the total amount of time Lance has to work. And it says Lance is able to work eight hours each day. Okay, so there's our first constraint. Eight hours is equal to 480 minutes. So three times the number of school badges plus four times the number of club badges it has to be less than 480. Now, a constraint with the same sort of pattern. Julian's enameling. It takes six minutes to do a uh, school badge and three minutes to do a club badge. And again, Jillian has eight hours each day. So there's our constraint. Six times school plus three times club has to be less than 480 minutes. So next constraint, supply and demand limit the number of school badges to between a minimum of 20 and a maximum of 70. So school badges is X. So X has to be between 20 and 70. And then it says, there's our final constraint here, you can already see it, I hope. 
up to 99 club badges may be produced each day. And there's our constraint. Club badges can be between 0 and 99. Now, feel free to fire up GeoGebra, uh, come up with those constraints, try out try a, um, a function with a gradient of negative 2.5, and see if you can find where the maximum profit is. Pause it because I'm about to spoil the answer for you. All right, so if you put that into GeoGebra, you should end up with heaps of corner points. Bam, 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 bam. Now, you should just be able to use the geometric approach and come up with this as being the best, um, the best split between X and Y. So the maximum profit is made at 70 school badges and it's made at 20 club badges. So that's maximum profit. Now, $234 is good, but we can make a little more if we build some novelty badges in our slack time. So, how much slack time is there? So, the first person who might have some slack time is Lance. So, we can remember that this constraint here was all about Lance. Lance uh, takes three minutes to do um, each uh, club badge and four minutes to do each uh, school badge. I think that's the... No, sorry. Three minutes for the school badges and four minutes for the club badges. So, if our maximum profit is reached at 70x and 20y, we can sub 70 in for our x and 20 in for our y into that equation. Because what that equation really says is Lance's time is equal to three times this and four times this. So, that takes 290 minutes of work. That means that Lance has 480, 480 minutes in a day. So he has 190 minutes to spare. We can just do the simple maths here. 480 minus 290 equals 190. He has 190 minutes to spare. Now we can do the same with Julian. 3x plus 3, 6x plus 3y is less than 480. Now, if we put in our maximum point, we can see that that, that 480, that's a full day's work. Gillian is working flat out. She has zero minutes to spare. 480 minus 480, not surprisingly, is zero. She has zero minutes to spare. So she's not going to make any novelty badges. She's the one that's work, that's that's job takes a little longer in order to maximize profit. So, Lance has 190 minutes spare. He could make 19 novelty badges. That comes all the way back up from here. It says a novelty badge takes 10 minutes to make and yields a $1.50 profit. So, if he's got 190 minutes, that means he can make 19 badges. He can make 19 novelty badges at $10 each. So therefore, the new profit is going to be the maximum profit that we got from our first two badges, uh, club and school badges, 234, plus the novelty badge. The total profit, once we include our slack time variable, is $262.50. So a lot of stuff there. Again, you've got to be able to read the question. You've got to be able to interpret it. It builds upon the things we've already done and adds a, adds a last dimension there with our slack time. All right, that's um, linear programming and an introduction to slack time variables. Things get way more interesting next up.